Hey everybody, welcome to Big E's Auto. I'm Big E. So again, this is going to be part two of working on the C4. If you watch part one, we aligned the rear suspension where we tied that all down strung up. So we got the car, as you can see, we're all strung here with the poles. So what we're going to do, we're going to line up the front end. I like to have, again, I want zero toe, they're saying, for the front on here. And they're talking about, again, half to one degree negative camber. Three quarter, again, is where you're going to be our target. So what we're going to do, what you're going to do here is you can see these shim packs. Kind of hard to see, but down between those uh, heater hoses, you see there's shim packs. So what you want to do is you have these are 18 millimeter that mount the upper control arm. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen those up and then what we're going to do is we're going to find the smallest shim and take out of there and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to see where our measurement is because as of right now uh, this tire what it's measuring as you can see it's on degrees plate we're at zero camber so the car is complete the car is completely neutral so like I said if I go that three quarters that we're, I want to see what the difference is. Uh, side note, I took the car out after we aligned, after I aligned the rear end. I don't know if you watched the video, but if you did, it didn't seem like three quarters of a degree was a lot, let me tell you. In the driver's seat, when I took it out for a ride, it was huge. So I can only imagine what this is going to do. So I won't be able to show me actually doing it, but this is the what I'm using here. Is a, You want a deep well so you can get in there. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to loosen it up. And now we're going to loosen the back. Now we have that loose. Let's take our jack. Okay. And what you want to do, you got to bear with me here until I find this spot. We got to get the weight off so we can move those shims. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to watch, see when our tire comes off the ground. All right, there we go. We look up here. This should give us, I want to take, yeah, I want to take this shim out here. We'll place it up there. And this looks like one of the thinner shims here. This I might need. Um, a screwdriver to get to I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if I may need to back this off a little more on here all right that whole thing the whole a arms moving so I'm hoping to get that one out there we go now I'm gonna try and pull it out or knock it out further this is a real booger I'm trying to reach around these heater hoses <sighs> almost have it out almost knocked all these shims out though on my front pack you gotta be careful so doggone it <laughs> Well, it's out. I'll have to grab it later with a with a needle nose. So now what we can do, we're gonna tighten this up now, being careful that the shims don't fall out. Where are we at here? Now we gotta watch because I had one almost fall out of the front. So we gotta make sure these are okay. They're all turning every which way. Remember, this is a 1985 technology and this one's just not spinning. So I gotta take these out. <sighs> Doggone it. 
frustrating as you can tell. We'll put this shim back in. Come on, stay in there. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to hit pause. When I come back, I'll have that all type. I'm gonna need two hands. I can't hold the camera and do that at the same time. Hey guys, so back here. So we got these shims in, line, got them all straight and whatever. We got the car set down on the ground on the grease plate. So what I wanna do now is bounce the car a little bit. Okay, and then take our I'm trying to see how I can do this that with one hand that you'll be able to read this. Well, our tone was fine, so now I don't know if you can read that, but that's got I'd say about a half a degree or so of um. Of negative camber so like I said the toe is already at zero I'm not really gonna mess with that too much but now with that out with the camber it's a little more negative camber so I want to see how that is but that's how you would do it you're if you want to do this alignment this is gonna tr control your cambers taking these out if you take like one out or add one in the rear or something that controls your caster you're really not gonna mess with that your camber and then down here you would loosen this up and this is your tie rod you would make it because it's on the front side you would make it shorter for more for more toe in obviously you're going to make it longer for more toe out but that's where you would adjust it on the c forward end anyway i know this was a little bit of a quick video but it's pretty much uh, self-explanatory um, hopefully you learned something again using grease plates, making sure your string is tight, everything is square, making the box, and it's just doing it that way. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean up here, and we're going to take it for a road test, probably in, in a future video. Uh, I'm debating about going back out to Pagoda and seeing how it does now with everything done and with this kind of alignment. Uh, that might be upcoming. So anyway, that's all for today. Uh, like and subscribe, leave a comment, uh, hit notification bell, uh, let you know when I have something coming up. Um, so until next time, watch out for each other, take care of each other. We'll see you next time right here on Big E's. Bye for now.